Thanks for tuning in to another Race Grooves video. I want to take a look at these green light die cast models, particularly this Durastar flatbed. You know, flatbeds are neat because you get to put your cars on top of them, but when, you're, when your flatbed is practically the same size as the car, you know, it's okay. But these are introductory models, right? These are, these are a dollar. These are just basic cost tow trucks. This model here, yeah, it's going to be more. It's going to be about $10. But then when you get your nice cars, you put a nice car, look, it sits on the flatbed. I want to open that up. I want to look at why is it a value at a higher price. And since I'm opening up that one, we're going to open up this other international Dura Start. This one's a delivery. This one's a flatbed. On the back, you can see all three. These were released at the same time. You have these two. And there's also the Bounder. You have over there the 1986 Fleetwood Bounder. That's also in the set, and if you buy it at Toys R Us, you're going to get this package. If you find it other places, you're going to get different card art. I'm going to save this piece here for a separate video. Now, I mentioned that this has nice details like side view mirrors. Some models have bumpers that stick out. So when you open your packages, you want to cut around all the edges and then open this up and then take your die cast out nice and neat. This is not a cheap little entry level model. It's not a little $1 model. So you want to open it up carefully. Also, it, 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 these are intended for ages eight and up. So there are going to be some pieces that are not intended for smaller kids. You know why? Rubber tires. And since they have rubber tires, the tires come off. So it's not intended for the smaller, smaller collector. Look at all the detail on the side. You got silver on the side. They put silver around the side markers. They got orange side marker lights on in the min, in the inside. You have nice licensed logos on the side. Got a logo on the door. This thing, it's got nice details all over the place. There you go, some more licensing. Check out the grill. Not, not no simple little quick hit and they're done. No, you got uh, you got your silver. It looks like you got black in the middle, black down here. There's a little emblem right there. Yeah, nice details all around. You can look inside. You see it's got an interior, two seats, and a steering wheel. Very, very nice. By the way, the base on this one is, is, is exactly the same as the base as the flatbed. That's because they're both international Durastar. One's a flatbed, and this one's the delivery. Both of them have dualies. You got dual wheels on the back. And these are dual wheels. Check it out. Dual wheels. Look actual wheels on there it's not like it's one piece of rubber and they put a line in the middle it's actual dual wheels so collectors know that and that's why these are marketed towards collectors now like if you're an eight-year-old collector these would be nice for you as well nice details these are not the ones that you're going to throw in your toy box though because you're going to knock off you're going to knock off these nice side view mirrors right here but something nice for the collection now that's it for the uh, pins oil piece. Let's go ahead and get that flatbed. The flatbed came with a couple characters, little, little mini figures. Looks like we have a police officer. This one, uh, look, he looks like he's got a little, he's probably the guy that, he's probably the truck driver. Looks like he's got his driver's log in his hand right there to keep track of his jobs. Here's the base of the flatbed, and it's just like I said, it's exactly the same as the delivery. That's because they're the same make and model. It's just that one. Oh, well, let's check the cabs. I didn't think about that. Look at the cabs. Yeah, look, the cabs are the same. Cabs have a little indentation. Cabs have some little uh, design right here on the hood. Same design. Looking on top of the cab, the driver's cab, you have these lines. You can see the lines right there. So same truck design. Got some nice side view mirrors. This one, mm, I love vehicles. I love vehicles that have light bars. So it's a tow truck. He's out there doing some emergency towing. So he's got to have a light bar on there so that people don't run into him when he's giving us a tow after our vehicles break down. We'll go ahead and give him a spin as well. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Oh yeah, check out brake lights. He's got brake lights on the back. Very nice. Oh yeah, be careful. This part right here is really fragile. It's sticking out. See how it's a very small piece, very easy to break off. Be careful. Wow, even we even have details on the mud flaps. See them right there? Nice. Very nice. 
Now, I, I'm not able to get this one to slide out. I don't know if it's supposed to slide out. Nothing wrong with collecting more than one brand. We got the Matchbox Tesla S. Looks real good on there, fits real nice. And we got the Hot Wheels 4 GT, GT40. Looking good. Or maybe, maybe you like the better scale die cast. Greenlight has a, their own 164 scale die cast. I thought I would pick this one up, 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass 442. These scale models have fantastic details as well. Now these are no $1 cars. These are going to be $5, $6. Check it out. Opening hood. Even got some color on the engine right there. You got detail in the front. You have your decals. You got headlights. Got hood pins painted on there. Got stripes on top, stripes on the side. Rubber tires. And I like that they got a lot of meat on there. That's how I like my uh, die cast models. They're like uh, big rubber tires on there. Got brake lights in the back. And look, two piece. Have a uh, two piece. The spoiler is a separate piece. Check out the silver window trim. Look, got silver edging or molding around the side or trim. Even the front. Yep, nice, nice, very nice detail. We'll let him have, have a spin too. And then we're gonna put him up on the flatbed. Now, I don't collect too many of these because uh, I only like a few samples of rubber tires. So I'm a little more particular as to which models I pick up for my collection. For you, you buy what you like, buy what you can afford, and enjoy the hobby. These are fantastic pieces. Now remember, rubber tires, so you're not going to want to give these to the young ones. And they're intended for ages 8 and up. By the way, Greenlight does have chase pieces. Check this one out. Here's the regular version of the 1986 Fleetwood Bounder. Here is a green machine version. You see it's got green wheels. It's got a green base. Now with each different release, you know, sometimes they'll make the vehicle green. They'll make the wheel. They change it up so it's not all the time. But let me tell you, with this set here, with this model right here, you got your Bounder. And you have the flatbed. And you have this one. With all three of these, if you find one with green wheels... You got yourself a rare green machine, and they're very rare. Only 2% of the run. So if they make 10,000, that means there's only 200 green machines. Very rare and very nice indeed. Anyways, uh, it was fun checking these out. Maybe you want one to display some of your nicer models right there. Whatever you like. Enjoy the hobby. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.